United and Coventry could have played yesterday and mm-hmm. City and uh, uh, Chelsea could have played today but you know tough luck doesn't matter just play it so you, you can't cry every single time you have a huge squad just yeah. play with them mm-hmm. and, and rotate what did you guys think about like Pep's comments bro like he had something interesting to say in like the post match right um, hey. about congestion yeah. club has been saying some of those same things so i've been out no yeah definitely i mean i think i can totally resonate with what he said right i think basically with it, all of this is being done to maximize tv revenue and i think the way the fixtures are structured in uk it's basically two channels like sky and bt or right now i think it's tnt i guess they're trying to kind of see which games they get and if and the only reason wh- what i can think of is why this uh, city chelsea match was scheduled for saturday is because chelsea are playing on tuesday chelsea are playing arsenal on tuesday and that's the slot bt wanted because they because again if you go back this fixture was rescheduled from 14th of march or something uh, it was supposed to be on a 6:30 am you know the lunchtime kick off which is basically bt's time slot and because they wanted a match for themselves to maximize the revenue th- that's the only match on tuesday and all the other matches are i think it's I think it's bullshit. He just shut the fuck up. He's going around wearing a two million dollar watch. He's clearly benefiting from all those. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. The, okay. we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Definitely, we'll get to that. I mean, yeah. I mean, see, I have no love for Pep Guardiola, right? But I think I can see that. I can see the lot logic there, right? It's, it's basically what Beat has been doing and what and how they are kind of just holding these clubs to ransom in some ways. Because again, same thing, right? Next week, if you see. uh the west ham liverpool match of uh, everton everton chelsea everton liverpool match there is no reason why liverpool have to be playing at 6:30 or the lunch time kick off on saturday morning mm. when they're playing on wednesday night it's just the scheduling it's just a bt wants those matches to be played that way and that's been that's what's been happening not just this season again this season is kind of more evident i guess but even the last three seasons or you know whenever uh, liverpool comes back from international break or something there there is again there is a good stat like where there are eight lunch time kick offs for liverpool and then there are the next highest is three for other other clubs and top six clubs or something So again this has been happening for a while and that's what basically Pep Guardiola was telling was saying as well I can say a lot of these things but nothing is going to change I can probably rant right now but then, but it's all based on the contracts and the fixtures anyone with some common sense can actually move these fixtures around and actually some of that actually has happened because there there was one match this season I think it was uh, Arsenal like I'm not sure Arsenal played a match away on Wednesday night in Champions League and then they had a lunch time kick off on Saturday morning and that was moved from lunch time to i think uh, in in the night time or something mm-hmm, yeah they got the 6 hours this reason rest or something that's the only thing that they could like probably move in some ways that's the only thing that they changed but everything else i think it's just the same it's basically basically from sky and bt and it's it's going to continue i mean from my perspective i think i agree with prayag here uh he gets paid a lot of money and the reason he gets paid a lot of money is because man city is rich the reason man city is rich is because uh, the sheikhs have invested in man city a lot the of dinosaurs died in, in, in man the middle east because the league is really years ago hey because the premier league is really big and the reason the premier league is really big is because of tv money so everything mm. ties down before that you have a billion dollar squad use the other players simple just use the mm. other players there are so many other players you have use them why do you have to use the same players again and again you want to win right so that's the, this is how it is and it's the same thing for everyone it's not man city aren't the last people the only team who has been affected by this lot of other teams have been i do understand there was it was a little unlucky that like you know chelsea played uh, i mean united and coventry could have played today uh, yesterday and mm-hmm. city and uh, uh, chelsea could have played today but you know tough luck doesn't matter just play it. So you, you can't cry every single time you have a huge squad just yep. play with them mm-hmm. and rotate that's how everyone does i mean it, another argument is that both liverpool and arsenal also had midweek grueling fixtures away fixtures and still came and played almost with same days difference mm-hmm. and neither of these two teams complained and there was an opportunity for him like instead of people questioning whether if it's a dip on performance he just took the easy way out is my perspective of his commentary post match because it was there it was the lowest hanging fruit for him to use as an excuse and like you know he nailed it and that's it he's just cranky after losing to madrid 
<laughs> so I think this, this season he's been he's been more composed. To be very honest, I think he's been all sarcastic and everything in the press conferences. He's being all giving all this just this vibe and all that. But again, I think again, see, I can he see that point. He outsourced some of his comments to his players. I think uh, Rod B said <laughs> right. There's only one team playing on the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that. yeah, with with Rodri and everything, yeah. yeah. Dude, also Pep Guardiola, like, Pep Guardiola works by polar, like you know, just you know, motivating his uh, players, and he needs a reason every time. Last year, the reason was, you know, that we have to go for a treble. We, you know, we have to beat this Arsenal squad. They're coming up. We don't want, uh, you know, we don't want them to unsettle us. This year, it's now. It's probably he's. Probably telling them that like you know everyone's against us. Uh, they're <laughs> scheduling all these tough things. So like motivate yourself, and we are we have to win four in a row. Every year there's something new, and that's that's why he's like the greatest manager. He finds these small reasons to piss the players off, and they all just go on a 